All right, we have to write a system of equations that represent the graphs shown right here. So what we're going to do is write our equations in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b. All right, so let's start with this line right here. So we write y equals, and then what we do is look for the slope of this line, and we can do this by finding two points on our line. There's a point here we can use, there is a point here we can use, and a point here. Now remember, a line is nothing but a bunch of continuous points. I just like to locate points where we can easily read the x value and the y value. So I like to see if there are points that represent whole numbers. So let us take a look at the slope of this line, which is positive 1. So there's a rise of 1 and a run of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Same thing between these two points. We go up 1 and over 5. So our slope of this line is 1 fifth. So we have y equals 1 fifth x. And our b value is where our line crosses the y-axis, which is at positive 3. So we just write plus 3 at the end right here. All right, for this line right here, let us go ahead and locate some points on the line. There's a point here, point here, a point here, here, and here. All right, we can see that between each one of our points, we have a rise of 2. So that's positive 2 and a run of 1. So we go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. And 2 over 1 can be simplified to just positive 2. So for this equation, we can start by saying y equals 2x. And then we have to see where our line crosses the y-axis, which we can see is somewhere below 0. And it doesn't show us where it crosses the y-axis, so we have to determine where that is. So what we're going to do is use our equation right here to figure out where that would be. And all you have to do is take any point located on this line. Let us take this point, for instance. This point is located at positive 4, positive 2. So we have an x and a y, and we also know what the slope of this line is, which is positive 2. So what we can do is plug this y, which is 2, in for y, equals our slope of 2, multiplied by this x, which is 4, and then solve for b. So we can simplify our equation a bit to be 2 equals 8 plus b, and then we're going to take this positive 8 and add negative 8 to that to turn that into 0 and balance our equation. On the left side, that gives us negative 6 is equal to b. So we can see that b for this line would be equal to negative 6. So we can just write negative 6 or minus 6 at the end of our equation because our line would cross the y-axis at negative 6. So this right here is the system of equations that represent these two graph lines on the coordinate plane.